Welcome everyone to the second part in the video tutorial series for the Windows GUI API in C++. Um, so in the last video tutorial we created a basic empty window um, this thing so now we're going to learn about menus so menus are the basic um, very basic element of the Windows GUI there are they are present in almost every Windows application so like this is the menu bar the top most uh, element in the hierarchy of the windows so window uh, sorry the topmost element in the hierarchy of menus so this uh, opens another menus or performs some ta other tasks so the menu items like file edit uh, when we click these uh, these open another drop down or pop up menus so the sum of the menu items of this uh, perform a specific task like these but these items here and some others like this one uh, open up another pop-up menu so these are called sub menus and you can see these lines here um, these are called separators so these separate a set of menus menu items from the other menu items so uh, we're going to learn how to create these uh, and add these to our windows uh, so first uh, we need to declare a function for that here so I'll just declare the function prototype uh, here add menus uh, and the return type will be void uh, and now I'll define the function down here so we now need to know from where we need to call this function so now we'll learn about another windows message which is wm create so this message is passed whenever the window is created so this is passed only once when the window is created using the uh, create window function so now this might this might be a good place to create all of our menus so we'll call the add menus function from here um, you can also use the wm create uh, message um, so whenever this message is passed you can use this block to create many other stuff which need, which are needed to uh, be added to the window whenever it is created so like creating buttons or other GUI elements we'll learn about that uh, those in the future so we have call, uh, so we do have a call for add menus function here so this menu will add the menus to the window so uh, first thing now uh, is we need a handler for the menu which we need to add to the window so we'll create it in the global scope uh, handler of the menu uh, h menu uh, so we just created this variable here of the type h menu um, and so in the add menus function we'll assign a menu to it so the function create menu returns uh, hw h menu object so it just returns a created menu which will be assigned to this variable which we just created here in the global scope so we just created a menu and now we need to add this menu to the window so we need to set this menu as the menu for the window so we use the set menu function so now it takes two arguments the first one specifies what uh, first one is the handler for the window which specifies to what window we want to add this menu so we need the menu for our parent window which uh, so we do not currently have that here in the global scope or in the local scope uh, so we'll now know about how to um, get that so now you can see the add menus function is being called from the window procedure um, so in the window procedure you can see the handler for the window which has called the procedure is being passed as an argument so now if you can pass this to this function here so we'll just go to the function prototype add menus and uh, change the parameter list to hwnd so this takes a window handler as the parameter um, so hwnd and now we'll give a name to it variable um, and so the add menu function from where we call it will pass this window handler as an argument so now we have the handler for the window and now we can use it to specify the window to which the menu is to be added and the second menu is of course the menu which we need to add so this so we need to add the edge menu to the hw uh, window which is um, to this window so this menu is added to this window so uh, but 
the menu will not be displayed yet because it does not contain anything anything so we need to append some items to it so for that we use the append menu function so now it takes four arguments the first one is the uh, menu to which we want to append stuff so this is edge menu so we want to append an item to this menu um, and the second argument is the flag so this specifies what type of contents will the item contain so if you want text to content a uh, text content for the menu which is quite common you'll use mf underscore now you have various options here for the type but we'll use ms mf string for text content the third argument is the um, UID new item whatever it says but this is the identifier for the menu the ID for the menu which identifies uh, sorry this is the identifier for the menu item actually this menu item which we're going to add here um, so we'll talk about it later we'll just keep it null um, we just need to add an item currently to the menu so we'll keep it null um, and the third argument so if the second argument is MF string the third argument the sorry the fourth argument is the pointer to the string which is to be contained inside the menu as the text so we'll just uh, call it file so now we can build and run our application to see if this is working so here we go we have a menu bar and an item file on it we click it but nothing happens um, so this is because we have not yet assigned a task to it so this is actually done from the third argument so when the second argument is mf string or others um, others are also there but we'll just talk about it the mf string first um, so then the third argument specifies the id for the menu so now uh, how can this uh, id be used to identify which menu item was clicked so this is very simple um, i'll just uh, demonstrate all of the pr procedure to you whenever uh, how this happens so we'll just uh, see the type of this this is the unsigned integer so we'll just keep it one the id for the menu so one is the identifier for this menu item so menu item so now what happens uh, whenever you click this menu item or click any other menu item or button on the screen uh, a message called we'll add in the case wm command is passed to the window so this message will be passed for every button or every menu item so now we need to identify which one of the menu items was clicked um, so this just tells us that something was clicked um, and now what happens is the w parameter uh, what happens that the w parameter the identity of the menu or the uh, other element which was clicked is passed with the w parameter so now we can use to uh, use the w parameter to identify which item was clicked so we'll use a switch statement uh, i'll just leave some space down here so switch wp and now we can check that what item was pressed because this identity will be passed as a w parameter and so if the case is one then uh, we need to do some stuff of course um, so what we'll do is we'll produce a message uh, sound so the message beep function will produce some sound specified by the argument so this function produces sound so now let's go through the procedure once again so whenever this file item is clicked uh, the wm command message is passed to the window and then the switch statement uh, and the message wm command is passed to the message as the message uh, and the w parameter contains the id for this menu which is one so if this is the message then we'll switch the w parameter and if one is the w parameter that means uh, this menu item was pressed and the sound is produced then so we'll build and run our application to see if this really happens so i'll click it here so this produces sound I don't know if you can hear it or not but this is producing sound <sighs> okay um, so we'll now uh, add a similar another item uh, we'll call it help 
and I'll keep this null so if we check this time uh, when we press the help button help item uh, nothing uh, happens but when we press the file item sound is produced so this is uh, identified through the ID for the menu okay so uh, now we'll learn about pop-up menus or the drop-down menu lists um, so if you want the file button to open another drop-down menu so you need a handler for that menu too because that is a separate menu which is appended to the file item in the main menu bar so we'll create another menu object this does not need to be in the glo global scope because we just need to add it here so edge menu uh, we'll call it uh, edge file menu we'll use the create menu function to assign stuff to it um, so well so we created just created another menu although this does not contain anything so now we how do we add this to the file item so this is very simple instead of the content as mf string um, we'll keep it mf pop-up and if the second argument is this then uh, this means that the action will not be any action will not be taken by this window so this is just used less if you pass a unsigned integer to it so then the third argument specified which menu is to be popped up whenever this item is clicked so we'll first see that the type is uintpdr so we'll just cast it accordingly uh, and then we'll pass this h file menu So we casted this type if you don't type casting in C++. So the th third argument is this H file menu. So whenever this menu item is clicked, this menu will pop up. And when the second argument is pop up, the third, uh, the fourth argument is um, similar for the MF string argument. So this is uh, still a pointer to the string which is used as uh, which is used as text inside the menu item. So this will pop up this menu, but this menu will not be shown because it does not contain anything yet. So we'll use the same append menu function to add stuff to it too. So we now need to add stuff to the edge file menu. Um, uh, we'll, so okay, uh, let's keep it null for now, and the last argument will be new. So now um, earlier I was um, using the uh, directly the numbers for these IDs but now what we can do is we can define constants to make stuff easy so file menu new so this file menu and the item is new so we'll just assign some value to it and then we can use these constants instead of uh, values here so So this is the identity for this item uh, and this new item is appended to the edge file menu and edge file menu is appended to the file item of the edge menu. Um, similarly we can create multiple the second one will keep it open and will we do not yet have a constant for this but I'll declare it up here file menu open uh, the value is this and then um, we need to uh, will add a separator I just we just I just showed you some separators the lines horizontal lines which separate some set of menus so for that uh, Um, for, so for a separator we need to specify the second argument as mf separator so when the second argument is this the rest of the remaining two arguments are ignored so we will just keep it null and then we'll append oops and then we'll append another menu item which will exit the application so the constant for this will declare it exit file menu exit mf string okay so we'll just declare a constant for this now
file menu exit so this is the identity for this menu item exit menu item so now we'll handle these messages so um, menu sorry file menu exit so when when the uh, w parameter is exit means the exit item was pressed so we'll just create the uh, destroy the window um so the argument is the window handler for the window which is to be destroyed which is passed here as wnd so this will uh pass the me next message as wm destroy which will post quit message and then this will return false and the loop will terminate which will make the application to exit so the window will get closed um, so we can similarly handle other cases like uh, file menu new which is the identity for the new menu item so we'll we can produce a different sound here for this Uh, so this will produce some different kind of sound so we'll just added stuff to the edge file menu and the edge file menu has been added to the file item of this menu so we'll just build and run this to check if this is working so the help button still does nothing the file menu item however opens another pop-up menu which contains some other stuff so these are three buttons the new button will produce sound so this is producing sound uh, and the open item still does nothing and the exit item should close the window yep this works um, so now we can similarly add more menus to the to another menu item in the pop-up menu so like uh, I'll create another menu handler we'll add a sub menu now uh, which will be uh, that an item in the edge file menu will open another menu so create menu function again um, and then we'll add some stuff to the sub menu I'll just copy paste it. Oops. Okay, so append now we want to append stuff to H sub menu. MF string we'll just keep it null. Uh, and then we'll sub menu item. Uh, and now we'll append this sub menu item to an item in the append menu so we'll just change of the open button um, we'll change the type to mf pop up and the second argument should be the edge sub menu but we need to cast this to the type of the uh, parameter uh, and let's change the text to open from uh, from open to open sub menu so now uh, you can actually use a chart to draw the hierarchy of these menus which one uh, is connected with which one um, so I'll just run the application and check if this is working so there we go the file menu and their open sub menu item opens and opens a sub menu and the new is a command item so it produces sound and exit is also command command item so it exits the application Though the help was also a command item, but it was assigned no task to perform. So th that did nothing. So um, this was actually not all about menus. Uh, the menus is quite a vast topic and we do have many different kinds of menus. But uh, I'll uh, probably create another tutorial on menus later. But this is all for now. Um, so stay tuned and I'll see you next time.